A tour group exploring New Zealand's rugged coastline recently me across a once-in-a-lifetime sighting when they found the partially utter remains of a giant squid, Architutha stux, washed up on the beach. The massive cephalopod was in some of its tentacles, which were likely met by opportunistic scavengers, so assessing the squid's size proved a TTK, but the mantle measured in at around 13 feet, 4 meters, long. The washed-up remains were discovered by a solitary guide working for the nature tour agency F.U. Spit Tours who then alerted a nearby group who moved in to investigate the find, with much astonishment. For most people it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, tour guide Anton Donaldson told the New Zealand Herald. It's not a common find on any beach so if you're able to be there at the right time, because things that wash up on the beach, organic material doesn't last on the beach. The tentacles on it were chewed back. It looked like they had been chewed back by some other sea creatures such as small K or fish. While I don't know for sure, I am it had been floating out there for a period of time and had washed up, he added. Although the giant squid is a E find, it's not the first time that guides with FU spit tours have come across these zoo animals. Over the three decades that the company has been conducting tours on the biodiverse stretch of protected land in the north of South Island they have encountered around six giant squid carcasses. Giant squid are secretive DC creatures that typically live between 300 and 1,000 meters, 980 to 3,280 feet, below the surface of the ocean. Occasionally, for reasons not fully understood, these EA mode will turn up on shore. A 7 meter, 23 feet, squid was found on a beach in the New Zealand town of Kaikoura back in 2015 and just last month a washed up youngster was found on the shore near Cape Town in South Africa. Researchers believe that these wash ups may have something to do with a behavioral display called diurnal vertical migration where DC organisms move up to the surface at night to feed and then return to dewaters during daylight.